My name is Billy Prosais. I am an elementary school music teacher in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, here to tell you a little bit about my modular system for demonstrating cymatics experiments in my elementary school music classroom. My science of sound unit that I teach to fourth grade is always one of my favorites of the year. Uh, it's a very action-packed, hands-on lesson with uh, lots of experiments throughout. And one of my favorite ways to illustrate a lot of the concepts uh, about the science of sound that we're talking about in class is through what are called cymatics experiments. Uh, and cymatics, in short, is the science of making sound do things that you can see. To take these audio frequencies and make them affect physical matter. Because we'll find that sound will do some things that you might not expect. Much of the challenge in recreating these experiments in class was due to the setup required to make them work. To make these experiments work, you need a, a couple basic things. First, you need something to generate a tone, a tone generator, if you will, which will then need some kind of amplification to make that tone loud enough uh, to drive the speaker or whatever we are using to affect physical matter. My old setup looked like this. For the tone generator, I used an iPad, which then was connected to a disassembled guitar amplifier, which was then connected to a subwoofer that I was using to drive the plate. However, this setup, though it worked, was not very practical for use in class. First, it is a huge mess. There are a lot of materials that always end up getting spread out. Water is not a great idea around this disassembled guitar amplifier because it has to plug into the wall. And it is very loud, especially with the, the subwoofer. And when I was trying to drive some larger metal plates, it has to be extremely loud to get a good effect. Performing these experiments also is a challenge because always you're trying to balance the, the volume from the guitar amp, the frequency from the iPad, as well as keeping the plate level so that the sand doesn't just go everywhere. And all of this in front of 34th graders. So this system provides a much simpler and more practical way to perform these experiments in class. So with this system, instead of the iPad and guitar amplifier, we'll have a tone generator and amp all in one battery powered device, which will then be connected via the built-in cable to uh, some different speaker modules that will do the experiments. And the concepts behind the three experiments that this system will perform are actually pretty simple, making them perfect for an elementary school classroom. Uh, the first experiment was called the Chladney plate experiment, where you have some kind of surface, in this case a metal plate. Uh, you have some sand, some sand goes across the metal plate, and then it is attached to something that can make the plate vibrate at a variable frequency. As it vibrates, you watch as the sand moves and discover what it does. Uh, the second experiment will have a speaker. You put water into it, play a sound, and see what the water does. Uh, and then finally, we'll have a balloon uh, that you can put on a speaker, put sand on the balloon, and notice how the sand travels on the balloon. Uh, all simple in concept, but in application in the elementary school classroom, there are some challenges. 